Okay, so let's let's look at dealing with cubes, right? So sum and difference of cubes. So this is where those patterns come in again. So let's go through these and see how straightforward they are if you remember and memorize those patterns. Okay, so here we've got a sum of two cubes. And to see it better, rewrite it as x cubed. Oops, not like that. So x cubed plus 3 cubed. So now I know what my x and y are, my a and b are, right? So I know it's got to have a certain pattern. So I know it's going to be this plus this, so x plus 3 times x squared plus the, or excuse me, minus these two multiplied, so minus 3x, and then this squared plus 9. And I'm done. Can't factor out any more than that. Okay, now what about this one? Same sort of thing. We just want to see if this is a difference of two cubes, and it is. So we got our cubed here, so we don't have to do anything with the m, so that's n cubed minus, and let's rewrite this as a cube. Well, what it cubed equals um, 64, and that's going to be six, uh, 4, 4 cubed is 64. So we're going to do this is 4n cubed. Okay, so now we know what our a and b are, our or x and y, if you will. So this is going to be a, so m, and then 4n. So now it's now it's a subtraction, so I know that my first term is going to be m minus 4n, and the second term is going to be uh, m squared plus what? The middle term is going to be 4n times m, so it's going to be 4mn plus what? Oops. 4n squared, which is going to be 16n squared. And we're done. Okay. And the last one. Let's see what we got here. So here, what can we help you write this as a cube? Well, that's going to be 2 cubed, right, gives us 8. And then what can we raise this to a power? Well, this is going to be what? Q squared. Because if we distribute the 3 to here, we get 8. And if we distribute, distribute the 3 to here, we get 2 times 3 is 6. So it works. And here, what cubed equals 125, that's 5. And how can we rewrite this as a power to a, to a third power? Well, that would be 3, p to the 3. And again, this is all based on the power rules that I'm using, power rules for exponents. Okay, remember those? So now it's a sum of two cubes, and now I know how to rewrite this. So it's going to be 2 cubed squared plus 5p cubed. That's the first one. And now the second one is going to be this squared, which is going to be 4q to the fourth. Okay. Plus, now it's going to be these two squared, which is going to be 10q squared p cubed. Uh, oh, this should be minus. And plus this squared, which is going to be 25, p to the sixth. And we're done. That's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Practice these. That's how you're going to get good.